At some point I set this picture as my desktop background image. Now however I need to find this picture. I could manually go through all my folders um, but I've got a lot of folders and there's a lot of files in each folder so I, I don't want to do that and the picture might not actually be in any of them I may have deleted it at some point so what I want to do is have Windows search for it but in order to get Windows to search for it I've got to give it something to search for I've got to tell it what to look for which means giving it a file name the name of the picture so in this video we're going to look at how we can find this picture even if it's been deleted off the computer so to get started move your mouse pointer across the desktop into a bit of free space not touching any uh, files or folders not touching the taskbar just in a bit of free space and then right click on the menu that pops up, left click on Personalize. On the Personalize page we can see that our picture has been set as the desktop background um, but it doesn't give us any information. We need to find the file name so to do that in this left hand panel click on Themes. On the Themes page we can still see the picture set as the background image um, but just below we've got these headings and underneath the background heading you can see it says relax that is the name of my picture that's the image file name on your machine it will obviously say something else it could say DSC and then a number, it could say IMG and then a number or it could be just a random string of numbers and letters whatever it is that's what we've got to search for so make a quick note of whatever it says underneath background and then we'll start the search to get Windows to search for the picture just click the start button and then type in the file name you've just noted down. Don't worry about there not being a box to type into. I know it's a little weird if this is the first time you've done it but just click start and start typing and a box will just appear. When Windows finds the picture it'll appear at the top of the list and on the right hand side of the menu it gives us all the information that we actually need. Location tells me where the picture is, so it's in a folder called BG, which is in my pictures folder. And to get to it, all I need to do is to click on that link, or just below I could click Open File Location, and that will take me straight into the folder and show me the picture. OK, so what would happen if at some point we deleted the picture, if it's no longer on the machine? Right, that's a little more tricky. What I'll do is I'll set this second picture as my desktop background, just so we know we're looking for something different, and then I'll delete it out of the way. So how do we go about finding this picture? So to start we'll do the exact same thing, we'll try to find the file name and then get Windows to search for it. So we right click the desktop and then left click personalize. And here we get our first clue that something is not quite right. Instead of showing us our background image it's just showing us a blank screen. But no worries we'll carry on. We're going to click themes in the left hand panel and then we'll make a note of the file name under background and then we'll get Windows to search for it just like we did before and when Windows finishes searching you can see that it's different than it was before. Earlier when she found the, the picture we're looking for she showed us a thumbnail of it and its location and all the rest of it this is different. Windows can't find the picture, obviously we deleted it, 
and so it's offering you stuff off the internet it's just taking a flyer it's saying well i can't find what you're looking for have a go at this but the picture is somewhere on the computer because it's showing up as the desktop background image so where is it well it's in a special windows folder and we need to type this into the search box to get into that folder now that's obviously a bit of a mouthful to type in um, and you have to type it exactly as it is so I would suggest copy and paste if you're watching on YouTube then that line of text will be in the description below if you're watching on the website then it will be in the uh, guide just above this video either way copy and paste it if you're not sure how to copy and paste text you find the text that you want to copy move your pointer up to the beginning of it or to the end of it doesn't matter which way you go and you'll see that the pointer will turn into a vertical line left click but hold the button down keep the button down and then move the mouse across the text and you'll see that all the text gets highlighted we'll do it again from the other end and just left click hold it down and wipe it along now that with all the text highlighted you put your pointer back onto it and this time right click when the menu pops up left click copy so that's your text copied now we need to paste that text into the search box and to do that we click the start button and then on the keyboard in the bottom left corner you'll see a button marked CTRL it may say uh, control but it's usually CTRL so you hold that button down and then press the letter V so that's CTRL and V pressing control V will paste the line of text into the search box and Windows will then find the folder present it at the top of the list and all we need to do is to click onto that folder and now we can see our background image um, it's in this Windows folder it's, it's not really where we should be so what we want to do is to copy this picture out of the folder and paste it somewhere where we're going to be able to find it again maybe in your pictures folder or somewhere like that or I would suggest whack it onto the desktop once it's on the desktop you can do whatever you want with it and you could even just delete it out the way again so that's how you find your desktop background image if you can't remember which folder it was in or even if it's been deleted off your machine